on Parkway. Hey guys, good morning. Boston, Massachusetts is checking in. How y'all doing? My sister's tired. Still trying to adjust. You know, I haven't driven in traffic forever, so it's like mm, interesting. Anyways, we're going to move forward with what I'm discussing today. So, I work for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. That is my new job. I am a customer service representative at the RMV, Registry of Motor Vehicles. Yee! Okay, so yesterday I did shadowing. And the purpose of me shadowing is to get a feel of the job when I go live. Okay, you know, working with people that already do the job and basically I'm just looking at what they're doing paying close attention so I ended up shadowing a person now I'll be doing licensing meaning permits licenses take the um, next right onto Hammond Pond Parkway driver's license liquor license and also um oh my gosh like duplicates you know, titles, I believe. No, that's registration. But basically, duplicate license and IDs. And now, you know, there's a new law that has to be enacted in our state come 2020, which is you need a real ID. And a real ID just allows you to access government buildings, enter into government buildings, and um, with federal buildings, excuse me, federal buildings, and to travel. So, in order to travel from any state using the airline system, you're going to have to have this type of ID. And it's a real ID. Now, I advise you to go online, see the documents that are requested, and um, so bring those documents with you when you go to the registry, the motor vehicle or registry. Because if you don't continue on Hammond Pond Parkway for half a mile, you have to pay two fees. One for a standard ID, which they're going to give you a standard ID. It's just like your regular ID, so you don't even have to like upgrade that one if you have it. When it expires, if you don't travel, if you don't plan to go into any government buildings, then you're cool with that. But the real ID, if you do plan to travel by 2020 of next year, you're going to have to have this type of I see. So, get your money right. Get your, your documents. In a quarter mile, at the traffic circle, take the third exit onto Newton Street. In order, and allow these people to assist you, you know, so that you're paid one time as opposed to two. Okay, so, I learned something yesterday that was very, very interesting. Because I shadowed a person who did registrations. I won't be doing them coming in. But, you know, within a few months, I'm going to be doing registration. I will be doing the training for that as well. So, I was doing registration. Well, I was shadowing a person who was doing registration yesterday. You know, registering cars, turning in plates, people who got their permits, that sort of thing. But the most important thing is this. I seen people trying to trying to get a transfer of title in the vehicle. Exit the traffic circle onto Newton Street. The vehicle in a quarter mile. Use any lane to turn slightly right theirs. onto West Roxbury Parkway. You know I have privy to that information because now I'm behind the scenes. So it's important when you have an automobile to get the original title the title is very important you need that to complete your transaction to transfer one car to another you know outside of that they will not allow you to do it if your paperwork is not official and legit they will not use allow any you lane to, to do turn it. slightly right onto west roxbury parkway when you go into the RMV and the lady tells you they will not accept the document. In a quarter mile, at the traffic circle, take the second exit and stay on West Roxbury Parkway. 90% of the time they are correct. Because they've been doing that forever. They've been reviewing documents. They know what they are. You understand? 
There's only certain documents that will be accepted and cer certain documents that will not be accepted. Anything that looks like it's photocopied and it doesn't have a legal stamp on it is not going to be accepted. If you, you want to be in and out of any RMV, make sure you have all your documentation. What is an actual document not what you want to bring thinking people won't know the difference but what is required of you to bring because that helped your transition you don't want to go to and from the registry two and three times the wait is longer that they have a new system in place so you know the training everyone's still learning the system the system is still learning the system so you have your glitches. So my advice to you is this. Exit the traffic circle onto West Roxbury Parkway. I'm sorry guys. Continue my on West Roxbury Parkway for half a mile. So my advice to you is this. Just make sure all your ducks are in order. All the stars are aligned. And you're going to have a smooth transaction. That is what we will be there to assist you with. A smooth transaction. You understand? I may, I may be new to this, but there are people that's been in this position and career forever. So they know their job. In a quarter mile at the traffic circle, okay. take the third exit onto VFW Parkway. They know their job, their responsibilities, their duties, their, you know, what they're supposed to do, their obligations. Believe me, you. Okay, guys, that's my advice for today. You know, um, just keep on keeping on. It's going to get better. It's never going to get easier in life, but I do believe it will always get better in life. You know, so if you just keep on keeping on, you're going to be all right. Things will work itself out. It's okay to take a loss. It's okay to fall in down. 600 feet, turn left onto Weld Street. But just don't stay down. Get up. Get up, the guys. Next left onto Weld Street. You understand? Get up. Now, so far, it's been okay with the traffic. I'm moving. But there is going to be another section that gets so congested, okay? And uh, although I might get on this side of town, this when you get into this little area, it's like so congested i'm like oh lord please get me through continue this continue on weld street for half a mile well that's my story and spew for this morning guys y'all have a great day and i'll talk to y'all later if i find anything interesting you know we're talking about it okay so as always have a great day don't be fake you understand? Be real honest out here in this world of dishonesty. One.